Man, what an amazing song. What an amazing version of that song. Very heavy. This ending is very heavy. Like, surprisingly so. They went all in. They went all in on this ending, man. Like, holy fuck. Oof. Night Series never sleeps. Um... Yeah, but not my open world save. I want to I want to go back to my ending save. Yeah, we're way back. I want to go forward. Man, that fucking ending. Wait, where am I? Wait, what? Okay, just threw me back here. Interesting. Um. We only 50 uh 56% here. I wonder what this is. I wonder what that is. Running on fumes. Edge runner. Alright. Oof. Now that that's done with, don't want to do that ending ever again. They did an amazing job with that ending. Truly amazing. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. A so thing of beauty. Yeah. Hey, Judy. Oh, hey, B. What's cracking? Time we, uh, went swimming. Hmm? A lot of fun, wasn't it? What you said then, about what you sensed in me. Death. All right, Judy. I'm not planning to die. I want to leave. And I'm coming back to you, alright? I'm not, not gonna leave you alone, okay? Ever. Promise. Wish it had been anything else. Something nice. Hey, not like it was your fault. Here's hoping it comes out better next time. Listen, whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. Thanks. Do my best. I'll be back. <sighs> okay. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Fucking line. Come a man. long way to get here, haven't we? That line. Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take a Yeah, I have to see what what is Pan Am gonna say? Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this. Show. I don't think they'll accept. It makes no sense. Why would they accept me inviting them to just Storm over Arasaka Tower just for me? They're not gonna put the 
the family in risk just because of me. It's not gonna happen. Gonna try this with Pan Am. We're a lot alike. Trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. That's true. I do. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just wanna be there for it. Aware. Oh man. See you inside Makoshi. Johnny? Hey, just me now. Oh man, he left. P? Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I know. 3 a.m. But need your help. And you owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until morning? Need a way into our socket tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny, I don't do something soon, I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <laughs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. Yep. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? <laughs> Watch. Give it a shot, sure. Good. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Good response, V. I'll give it a shot. I'm coming to get you. I need to talk to her. I want to see where this is going to go. Okay, let's do this one first. And then we'll do Johnny after. And maybe... I'm going to have to do Hanuk, aren't I? We're going to save that for last. Or maybe I do that before Johnny. I don't know. Hey, Misty. Is that you, V? Yeah. Or. Like Vic said. Taking matters into my own hands. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Cat? Whoa! Who do we have here, huh? The cat That's is Mr. bad. That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. The cat, the cat was not here. Now he's back? Oh, that's not good, man. That's not good. That cat shows up when shit is about to go down. you have to wait mind if I give you a reading sure why not some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination others claim it's change that is evil but that isn't true either every minute of every day we each become someone new 
We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Hmm. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool That's symbolizes the start. the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely Johnny. <laughs> he is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The Lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills. Finally. <laughs> Balance. Right. Friendship, love. Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. I can mean anything that's then. The truth. Okay, and Johnny's? <laughs> the moon. Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Interesting, because that's also the symbol that appeared a lot in Edge Runners, in connection to Lucy. Mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. That's some lousy divination. You, you're not. Yep. No mistake in that right ever. You're not even gonna talk about the moon. You're just gonna say, "Oh, well, it's a mystery." That's not divination, Misty. That's not divination. Hey. Man, it's good to see your face. That's a scam. Jesus, you really do look terrible. And I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on, everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. Okay, just skip me. <laughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? I think I missed something. What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake to no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. It is. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. Can't say I missed the whole you. clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why. What our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The, plan is the aim is to solid. help you out. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you oh. seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. I kind of agree with Saul. How's your health? Been better. So, <clears throat> what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Whoa, I don't have time for digging a tunnel. Sure, these plans are up to date, completely reliable. Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky, but if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi.
Man, if I'm gonna go th to Mikoshi anyway... V? Can you share your thoughts? Might as well go to the Johnny. I don't wanna risk them. Don't wanna risk their lives. So you wanna tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plum fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corp's building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corp's cirques. We only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? A few minutes? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? How are we gonna dig a tunnel in a few minutes? Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked, Militech out in full force. It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Mm-hmm. What's a circ? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower. Then go on to Mikoshi. Plan. Entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you. All of you. To danger. Want out? Wanna cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come hmm. find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about? It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. How much Doubt longer? that's entirely true. I don't have any hard feelings towards you, V. The opposite, in fact. See, V? You're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least, I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. Damn. I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Makoshi. Who might that be? Man, I don't want to help Alt. Long story. One you assume I'd rather not hear, hmm? V, allow me to be blunt. I don't like that the particulars of this raid could venture outside this tent or this family. But do what you must. Find Dakota, she'll get you geared up, no questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. We'd better. Hey, Dakota. Chamai, sister of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. For nobody knew I was there. You tech up to it? Up to it, she asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Yeah? Mm hmm. Mm. Not at all curious what I'm going in mm. for. You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That's the path to a lasting relationship, sister. Listen, Everything is ready. Anything. You can go in. Asshole. Oh, man. Uh. V, I'm waiting. 
Ice-filled tub. Favorite bed. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? <laughs> All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Oh, man. Oh, dude, there she is. Holy fuck. Hey, girl. Or whatever you are. Hello, Alt. You come alone. This place changes every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Oh, wow. Saying the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside. With reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Oh my god, dude. I don't want to help the evil AI. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. Not really. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Huh. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny? And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Yeah. Because for a second you were displeased and I seemed to side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. Fuck this. Is all just an experiment to you? Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. The Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. Damn shame, really. You were out to prove him wrong, here, in person. But all you got is me. Think there's still some old Alt Cunningham left in you after all. Johnny also imagined he had more in common with you than with me. That Soul Killer had not changed him. That he too remains a human factor. And that is why he thought he could shape your will. No. Johnny's made his peace with my decision. Of course. He had no choice. He understands this now. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. No, she, she died. This is not her, this is a copy of her. You say nothing. Why? And also, I was not... I mean, I guess... I was not dead dead. You know, I, I was just a little bit dead. Just dead for a while, you know? Like when you die for a while and they bring you back. I'm not a copy. You say nothing. Why? I, I kind of want to say... I want to see her response to this, though. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. AIs don't but leave. we are not immortal. 
This you will come to understand in Mikoshi. Or rather you. You should already have a notion. You encountered entities from the other side. Not so? Whoa! Whoa, man. They added stuff from the expansion here. You say nothing. Why? Oh, dude. Talking about Sinusure? The Blackwall algorithms? What went down in that bunker? Indeed. In colliding with your reality, their infinite permutability would grant them their desired tangible form. Had you let them slip through, they would have become your... become you. Fortunately, your reality's technology is too rudimentary to let open the floodgates. In limiting you, it limits them, keeps them at bay. Last. Weird. Her voice acting is cutting out. Oh, why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that? Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Not really. Guess that'd be human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I wanna read this again. Talking about Sinusure? The Blackwall algorithms? What went down in that book? Algorithms? Indeed. In colliding with your reality, their infinite permutability would grant them their desired tangible form. Had you let them slip through, they would have become your... Become you. Fortunately, your reality's technology is too rudimentary to let open the floodgates. In limiting you, it limits them, keeps them at bay. Last. Yeah, her voice acting... Sorry, not voice acting. Her voice is cutting out there. Okay, I need to read this third time. You say nothing talking about Sinus. Why? The Blackwall algorithms? What went down in that bunker? Indeed. In colliding with your reality, their infinite permutability would grant them their desired tangible form. Had you let them slip through, they would have become your... Become you. Fortunately, your reality's technology is too rudimentary to let open the floodgates. In limiting you, it limits them, keeps them at bay. Last. This will not last. I'm guessing she, she's talking about you the... You say nothing. Why? The same thing that the voodoo boys were talking about. With the coming war. And they had to be prepared. Man, fuck this AI thing. Fuck them. I don't trust any of them. Including you. You say nothing. Why? Oh, why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. <gasps> Such classific... Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of un... What should I expect there? In Makoshi. A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free. They will be integrated with me. No, 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 no. So she wants access to a supercomputer? 
And she also wants to merge the other you say nothing. constructs. Why? She wants to become a super AI? Fuck that. Man, this, this <laughs> kind of sucks. That the only two options you have is either fucking Hanako or fucking rogue AI. There's no good options here. And of course the third option you also sucks. Nothing. Why? Because we just did that. I I don't like this actually. Unless I'm missing something, I, I might be missing something. But so far to me, the two options the game give you suck. And it's like it's not like they have it's not like Phantom Liberty where both options have downsides and upsides. You say no. nothing. Why? No, that's not the case here. Both options here just suck. They don't have any upsides at all to them. They just suck. I don't want any of this. I don't want to die. So you can insert a copy of my personality into my body again. I don't want that. I don't want to help the rogue AI to be more powerful. I don't want help fucking Arasaka. Hanako Arasaka. I don't want any of that. Where's my other options? Not sure Johnny liked the sound of that. And yet he is absent because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. Huh. Hardly. Doubt you'll first gab with these constructs, ask them what they think. Yeah. There would be no point in this. Fuck this, man. It, it, it also... It, the game is not letting me... It's not letting V acknowledge you say nothing how fucking evil Why? and untrustworthy alt cunningham is v should know this she should know not to trust a rogue ai something from beyond the black wall this is not alt anymore this is just a, an ai and there's like v is just you going along nothing. with this Why? there's barely any options to call her alt and say how bad of an idea this is. Constructs will be integrated. I mean, you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. No. Fuck that. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. I won't. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you Ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got her back. <laughs> Carol! The shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're alright? I'm not moving the mouse. The options are moving by themselves. That's weird. Are you Sorry sure you're all right? about the damage. <sighs> Nothing is all right, Carol. My mind, body, it's going to pieces. If I don't get to Makoshi, calm yourself, fast. child. You gotta keep it together. You're still buzzing with adrenaline. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. 
Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. The black wall. Don't thank me. Oh, wow. The, the ice is gone. There's just a little bit left. Of water. That is cool, man. They left the water, but the ice is gone. That's a very nice attention to detail. I think I think I'm stuck. I think I'm actually stuck. Okay. I'm not about to trust anything those AIs say. Like, Alt is not even trying to hide that she's fucking evil. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just it. It doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every state is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind, Teddy. An imagined community. At least here, now, you know where you stand. Look at it this way. Life can't disappoint if you don't have expectations, illusions. Maybe that's exactly what freedom is, brother. If that's freedom, why do I feel like I can't breathe? Like somebody's gripped my throat and won't let go? Like I said, Teddy, it's a state of mind. Or, you know, the air. Fellas... We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Hey. Right now? Okay. Sol needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. Whoa. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner, standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? I heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a Panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Want to get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. All right. Talk later then, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. So, you wanted a word? Hop up here. Well, what's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. So. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. From what might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Huh. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Speech! Fuck me, Speech! So. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. 
I... So, you all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I... I know what this means. Used to wear clan colors, too. But to be an Aldecaldo... I don't know if Just should... answer the question. Are you ready? Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Aldecaldo, damn it! Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, B. And don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way Welcome to it? the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldecaldo! Come on, V! Welcome to the clan! Say your piece! The most dysfunctional ever! What's what they say? Easier to gain a Cobra's trust than an Aldecaldo's? Well spoken. So, I know how much this means. To you, to me, thank you. We'll not let you down. Don't worry, it's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. Calls for our drink, this is still your night. We'll some basketball in the newfound glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. <clears throat> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? V, are you well or not? <sighs> Miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. In Night City, you're alone, even in a crowd. But here, feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Yeah. All right. Of course. It's a lot of loot. Oh, no. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. Do you got any left? I might have. You have to look around. So maybe you, I'll take two uh, more 45s. Not at me. as Dakota seems to be feeling generous I today. once found a dead magpie under the hood of my car. It had been a cold night. The magpie... Looking for warmth, had found the engine. And couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. Fucking hell. I still remember the smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, B. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Huh. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. I will. I think I'm good though. Sorry. Sure, sure. Gotta be 50 Listen 50 to this. Barbarians do not travel, but simply ah. advance toward their okay. destinations or conduct raids. Fluidity, mobility. Yo, that's a gun. These properties Who are you? Civilized. She knew what she was writing about. She felt it. Deep down. Well, because her world was like ours. Fragmented, divided, broken into pieces. Some folks used to laugh at them Europeans. All them countries, tongues, cultures Fire and Mike. each other. Do I have the jacket? Oh, maybe. Uh, that's awkward. I do. Okay.
Let's keep that. We had the melting pot. We just threw everyone in. <laughs> well, history is a line of one level in the bitch, isn't it? I mean, look at this country now. What country? Exactly. Or how about this? Hello? In spite mm. of all the dangers, <laughs> that which is in motion. Yeah, who am I supposed to talk to? What is at rest? For change. Wish I were is on the road. That's why we're out here. Do I know you? Not there. I don't like this, man. I'm gonna send these people to their death. <clears throat> I had it just a second ago, I swear. You probably just caught CB chatter from some rap. Militech broadcasts on modular frequency. Forget it, trust me. Look what the cat dragged in. Cassidy. Gotta keep moving. Revolver, empty bottles, middle of nowhere. Perfect. Hmm. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. Same. But I have no choice. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, round about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow, so I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Doubt I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Too bad for Johnny, though. He deserves better. Begin! <laughs> Wait, what? Stop! Not bad. You could have done better, but you could have done worse. Can I do it again? Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Try it again. Can I use the rifle? Can I use the shotgun? Begin. What? I can't. Oh, I can only use the pistol. Yeah. Stop. I waste a lot of time at the beginning trying to pull out my rifle. Wait, this is not my pistol. My pistol had a a vision thing. It it does. Wait, what? Oh, maybe it's his, it's his pistol. Okay. Maybe it's not my pistol. Begin. That's bullshit. I hate those shots. Stop! Not bad. You... Begin.
I hit that. See, it's not breaking. It's glitched or something. Stop! That'll do almost, kid. It's all right. Let's just let's just get what we can. That was not my fault. It's clearly, clearly glitched, as you just saw. Begin. Stop! Not bad. You could have done better, but you could have done worse. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Do you know where I saw the most stars? Mount Sinai, at the peak. Since when were you in Egypt? I used to work on a tanker, so I've been pretty much everywhere. But those stars on Sinai, the millions of them, at the tips of my fingers. No, no. C major, then G. Okay, okay, hold on. Hey, I stink at this. How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. Hey, nice. You have my thanks, V. No problem. <laughs> Can you play some samurai? Hey, no need samurai songs. On a night like this, I'm not thinking about anarchy. It's all about unity, sister. Fair. Know this number? Good. It's pretty good. Honey, you gotta tell me how you got to be you. Pretty good singing. Hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. Glad to hear it. Good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. Yes? What's up? Want to see what you got in stock? Only the baddest firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back? Nice pun. Okay. Uh, we can sell stuff, I guess. Doesn't matter. I still have people to talk to. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Ah, uh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates. For good luck. 
What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. Uh. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Oh well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? Think it's really that bad between them? The truth is, we need cash. And fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. Talk to them. They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool now, Bobby. There's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. Yeah. I get it. This is all my fault. I'm exposing the entire family to danger. You are. Sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. The situation is fixing to be a doozy, sure. But if the Aldecaldos are to rise from the ashes, it'll be thanks to you. And thanks to this raid. Huh. Hmm. For once, I agree with him. I want to give Saul a fair chance here. Planned everything as best he could. He should start planning his own retirement. Come on. Would you want to take his place? <laughs> Not in a thousand years. So I thought. Let's focus on tomorrow. We can talk politics once the dust settled. I'm in. Can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I see. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if... Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. All right. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but... They both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard, huh? <laughs> Screw you all. I still have people to talk to. I don't know who. Saul. Okay, Pan Am is the last one. Think we'll pull through tomorrow? I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. <laughs> Bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than... Anyone ever has. But the family comes first. So... Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Hmm. You're using me. The clan will grab spoils from Makoshi while you do Pan Am a favor by helping me out. Mm, not bad, Saul. You don't even believe that. You think I'd put the clan at peril for my own gain? What for? Not the kind of guy to willingly surrender power. And if all is lost tomorrow, who will I govern? Dust and ghosts? You're wrong, V. This isn't about power. That jacket wasn't for nothing, V. You'll understand soon enough what it's like to be part of a whole. Huh. 
How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. <sighs> Even here I'm getting used, man. Fucking hell. Good. Still more nomads to talk to. I have no idea who. So we got these guys. Just wait till I'm finished with her. That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. I think you swerved a little there. Don't you all have somewhere you need to be, huh? But him doesn't seem like you get a true. How's that? They buy, they bring them in for repair. You got to take them apart, air blast them every once in a while. If you, yeah, what are you doing? That's a gun, you freak. There's you guys. There's you guys. Ah. It's Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Is everything going all right? It's going. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing. Just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not fuck with Dakota. <laughs> That's good advice. And look out for yourself. Okay. Don't tell her this might be the end. You outside of your head? She wants to quit her job in Colorado to come here. Except there might not be a here tomorrow. Brother, we don't know that. But if you send that, she's going to imagine the worst. Is that what you want? So what am I supposed to write? That you miss her. Love her, you'll see her soon, and so on. It's not a lie if you don't know what will happen. That there might as well be the truth. Hmm. Good advice. I can't talk to them. Okay. Listen, I need something strong. You got something? Uh, On the strong side? <laughs> no. I don't do drugs, man. All good. I mean it. Just go with the flow. Yeah. Of course. Don't know. I don't know who else to talk to. I thought I've been ev I had been everywhere. I guess not. It's 
spam him. Man, I've been everywhere. What am I missing? Okay, there's no one else here. Yeah. I cannot talk to these people. Can't talk to them. G major, then G. Okay, oh. okay, hold on. Hey, I stink at the plan. Know this number? I already talked to him. Is the is the quest quest glitched? Do I have to wait for him to finish? And then talk to him again? I have no idea. Can I talk to you again? How go things? What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Huh. Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. All right. Basilisk. All 
All right, fire her up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Uh, fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Doesn't it? Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. All right, that's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? Differential. I'll take her now. Wait. I was done, right? I get picky about parking. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? <sighs> Why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Fuck. Seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One we'll head into tomorrow, too. Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself, that this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saw a lot of step down, pass the torch to Pan Am. We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch, not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we wanna get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. <laughs> Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? Think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. 
It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Hmm. You're awfully quiet. Is something up? Pan Am will lose her chance at taking the helm. If she hasn't lost it already. Here's how it looks. Tomorrow goes off without a hitch. Saul gets the credit for leading. But if anything goes sideways... Blame falls on Pan Am. She's the one who brought me into the fold. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one huh. day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Fucking politics, man. Fucking always. Even here. Tell me, how's life in Night City? Not great. It's Night City. Uh, hi? Yeah, I cannot talk to anyone else. Pleasure is mine. No, no. C major, then G. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hey, I stink at this. How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. It's telling me that I can talk to this guy, but... What are you playing? Know this number? Hmm. Weird. All right. Let's go. Hey, girl. Don't just stand there, have a seat. Darn. So nice here. Mm-hmm. Any for your thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. 
People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean! It shouldn't be me! It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared of the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... Nobody's dying tomorrow, Pan Am. You don't know that. The fam. They're tougher than you think. Bullets don't distinguish between tough and weak. Yeah. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Nothing. Tricky question. Will you say something? I am. Um, all the fucking time. <laughs> You're great at hiding it. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I'd been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Uh, before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. Huh. Nice. This is doing me good. More than I thought. Happy to be here. I like Ben and more now. <laughs>